Hello, me darlings. Um, it's been a, it's been actually a long time since I've been on on overly dramatics. Sorry, we kept we kept saying, oh, you need to do a weekly thing, and then there's just me that's kind of like, I'm I'm part of the overly dramatics. Disappear. Um, but I'm here now, so hello. Right, lots and lots of things been going on in my life. First of all, um. February had my show with my theatre group uh, we were rocking which I played Khashoggi don't know why I'm saluting maybe because I was a policeman pardon me sorry about that I don't know um, the show actually went really really well and I actually really enjoyed it most people when we were doing the casting was like oh yeah this and this will play Annabelle everyone expected Annabelle to play Killer Queen so not much of a surprise when she did um, so our casting for that show was a bit surprising but ended up working really well she our, our scaramouche was our scaramouche was Polly um, she, she's a good girl she's a sweet girl um, <laughs> she was a bit of a small scaramouche, but it was it, was, it worked. Um, I had another Beth who played Galileo with her big moustache. I want to be free. Sorry, referring to another video there. Um, and she was she was all right. She was good, considering apparently that she not not heard a lot of Queen before, and, and the fact that she's the main character, so she has to know a lot of Queen. So. I was impressed with her. Yeah, she did good. She did good. Um, but sadly, it was my last ever performance with those guys because I'm too old now. Because I'm I'm turning 18 this year. Woo! Um, which meant that I was too old because it's a youth theatre, so I had to leave. Um, which I basically broke down in the last after the last show. I was kind of like, I don't want to go. <laughs> But um, no, it was it was good. I I've enjoyed my time there, and it's kind of oh god, I don't really want to, I don't want to sound bad. It's kind of time to let them sort of take the spotlight. Oh god, that sounds so bad. I know what I'm trying to get through, but ah. Uh, anyway, um, oh mind blank. This is not good. Yes, um, mind you, last show. Of we were rock you was a bit surprising because we were in the middle of what was it we were in the middle of uh, play the game which is um annabelle's song man in the audience collapsed and fainted right in the middle of her song oh god i felt so bad for her and the other one um it he was fine he was fine though he insisted he had to stay in the show we were like no we're gonna take you to a hospital and we, we got on with the show fine the show went well people liked it brad liked it because he, he came down and he saw it so that was good um what's next right um i'm in another company which is cornwall youth theatre company so it's brilliant uh, and we're getting ready for a show our show is based on Ch charles causley poems and charles causley is this amazing poet who used to live in cornwall he has sadly passed away since then but ours is based. I've got my script. Dun dun dun. See all the poems that I'm in. But he's a, an amazing poet. And we decided to um, make a little bit of a showcase about some of his poems and act them out. So uh, that's going to be on in April. And so far that's going so well. And I've got my own poem, which is my young man's accomplishment, which is really fun. I've got I've got Axel Gurley, which is a bit unusual for me because I normally play guys. <laughs> or tomboys or something like that. Right. <laughs> no, 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 no. College. I had my first performance evening. Dun dun dun. Uh, and in my course, you're allowed to choose an acting side or a dancing side. And since I did an acting, I did GCSE drama, and which involved no acting whatsoever. And I did one B tech, and it involved all acting. I thought, okay, I'll go for the dancing side this year because dancing isn't my strong subject. Uh, and so that meant I had to do three different dances. I had to do a dance based on 
based on repertoire from Gypsy Mixture, which is a dance by Richard Alston. I had to choreograph my own group piece based on Flesh and Blood, which is by Leah Anderson. And I had a final piece, which was choreographed based in the style of Fosse, which was not, which was the Rich Man's Frog. So if you know any of those dances, good on ya. Um, apparently during the show, the performance went really well. Originally for our version of Flesh and Blood, we wanted a camera as we were dancing to be facing down and videoing us live. So you could see us performing on stage because we had a lot of hand, mo hand motifs and stuff on the floor. But you could also see what we were doing on the floor from a bird's eye view. Uh, sadly, this didn't work on the um, on the night, which was a bit gutting, but it still went really well. Um, Gypsy Mixture went really well, apart from my mate Sophie's clip fell on the floor, and so and because we're all in barefoot, we're all freaking out because we're gonna like we're gonna step on it. So sometimes we occasionally did like a big kick to move it out the way. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Rich Man's Frog. That went really well. I really enjoyed that. Mind you, we were, we were absolutely clothed in black and were under stage lights. And those of you who are performers and know what it's like on a stage light, we are absolutely dying. But it was it was a lot of good fun. And I'm actually surprisingly really good at tech, which I didn't think I was. Right, what's next? Do, 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 do. Aha, it's March now. Mmm. March. I spent a weekend in Manchester with Brad and with Joseph to celebrate his 18th. Ah, well, Joseph's 18th, sorry. Which was so much fun. And I think there should be some videos of of then around that because we went to go see the paper boy and we made a little review and then the boys being boys, they're playing Black Ops. <laughs> But no, it was a, it was such a great time, and it was great to see Joseph again because I haven't seen him since August, and I haven't seen Brad since February. Uh, and mind you, I'm going to see Brad uh, and Joseph soon again because they're coming down in, in April and Easter. Because I'm going up to see Les Misérables with um, Brad, and then he's coming down to see Darren Brown. And maybe Joseph is coming down because he doesn't believe any of Je Darren Brown's things. I know, right? just ridiculous um, and that's me so far actually yeah that's me s done since I've appeared <laughs> so I love how I've just ranted that all the way through I've got so th click 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 and now I'm just here and I'm just like yep so maybe I could get some excerpts or some pieces from my dances and, and my performances I don't know maybe I could get them on here so you can take a look and see what you think um, hopefully the Manchester videos will be up soon again uh, well up again up soon I don't I'm not sure but I hope you have a good time I hope you're having a good week um, it's Easter soon so don't eat too much chocolate else you'll feel bleh um, so yeah I hope you have a good time and stay overly dramatic and for all you Firefly friends out there and for Brad, stay shiny. <laughs>